Okay. Yes, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tayemba live on Revolutionary Camp. I'm still here at the Mifflin Hotel, and you see me in my Ghana soccer jersey. And yes, family, I'm about to drop one on you that's gonna shake you up. You know, this is Bomani top four finest women in the world by country. You know, and uh, let me tell you the countries that were under that didn't make the top four list. You know, you know, and uh, I mean, it's like an honorary energy. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, Black America, Jamaica, Trinidad, you know, <gasps> the Dominican Republic, you know, you know but uh, yeah, so, and the country that did make the number one list, I, I literally never been there and probably, I don't know when I'll be there, but, you know, I'm just like getting you to process and think what that could be. And uh, absolutely the top three is, and also no European country or Asian country is on this list. You know, I've been to different parts of Asia and Europe and the women just don't compare to the women on the African continent or just black women at all. So you, you sell out there that's chasing these Asian and these white women, you know, all over the place. You, you know, you gotta come holla at your boys here about Af the African continent. You know, we're about the black power nation building energy. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're not about diluting the, the, this, this, this work, you know, and so, we take data from all sources and everything and we compiled it. And you know what I'm spitting out is based on what we put together. So we're gonna set off the list right, you know what I'm saying? The number four, and you know, that's just kind of the World Cup, you know, the top four. You know, I'm trying to remember any honorable mentions. Well, I named a few of them. But number four, four, family, yes. And uh, also the top you know, three of the top four have the biggest populations of black people in the world. So I'm giving away some, some data right there of black people. You know what I'm saying? And if you go to these countries and you can't find you know, your princess and everything, you know what I'm saying? Something is wrong with you. <laughs> you know? So, and, uh, yeah, so family, number four, the Afro-Brazilian sisters, the African-Brazilian sisters. You know, if y'all wasn't so mixy, maybe you'd be number one or two. But uh, nevertheless, though, I love my African Brazilian sisters. And just being here in Ghana, you know, you always hear about you know that connection of uh, our stolen African brothers and sisters being brought to Brazil. And then when I went to Brazil, because family I did go to Brazil, I had the greatest time in Rio de Janeiro. Not telling any secrets, you know what I mean? You know, because we don't kiss and tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? But. But nevertheless, you now Bomani is that explorer. You know, we travel the seven seas, <laughs> uh, six continents, and thirty plus countries. You know? so family, uh, the, the the energy of just Brazil, as far as just the roots, the culture, uh, you know, the, the beaches. I mean, you know, is this beautiful energy? It's just uh, just so incredible. And you know, in order for you to really just understand these things, you just got to go to some of these countries. And uh, it's not about what you may think in your mind, with your dirty mind. You know, you know we, we're comparing things as far as how the fashion, the, the energy, the communication, certain style, you know, flow, and, and, and many different things across the board. And, and the other things that we're not going to tell you also. <laughs> you know, so, um, big ups to my sisters in Brazil. We got you at number four. I, mean, I have to listen to other people listen you know, and things like that. But the top three is on, on the African continent. Nowhere else it would be. You know, it would be a disservice. <laughs> so yes, family, this, this is getting incredible. And as you can see, Ghana family, incredible, beautiful, cultural woman. If you're looking for a wife, especially a young wife, the sisters in Ghana are ready for you. Just, just bring your A game you know, and be real about what you're about. And uh, the culture, the energy is uh, just incredible here. Um, uh, you know, the thing that attracted me most to Ghana was just the family culture. You know, and uh, you know, since 2006 to now, and it's just been beautiful. And people are like, well, Boma, they did all of that, man. Why you, aren't you married? And I'm one of them different kind of folks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's like, you know, it's, um, for me at this point in life, is the billing, billing the riches, you know? You know? you know, sometimes people go through the process of love, marriage, and baby carriage and certain things. And sometimes people look for love before riches and things like that. And then you know, we all go through a phase. But right now, I'm at the phase where we're focusing on getting things organized and uh, you, know, you just have to be disciplined and focused because uh, you know, you have, you know it's, it, it's so many beautiful women around the world where you know they can enjoy into their love trap and next thing you know you forget about the revolutionary movement but 
my and I always tell people that you know I forgot my, my my revolutionary ring. I was hoping to get another one in Ghana, but you know I'm married to the revolution. You know, and, you know that's the main thing. And when we get to that point, you know maybe family, you know maybe we'll build a fresh new family. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I always know that in uh, Ghana I'll have a per permanent home and build a beautiful family. Just you know before we connect the family, you know we just have to make sure it's the right family because. You know, we all about black power and revolution, and all, you know, don't play around. So, you know, the, all that has to you know, be connected ultimately before we move forward. You know, so, yes, and our family hits you with number two. It is the real deal. You know, one of my best trips ever, Ethiopia. Yeah, you know, it's like one of those countries where you just want to, you feel everywhere you go, you just want to marry someone. <laughs> the most incredible, beautiful women that you literally ever seen in your life. And, you know, and uh, you know, you just gotta really bring your A plus game on this one because you know most of them are gonna marry, and then all the countries I'm gonna name, most of the women are gonna marry into their own culture because their parents are gonna tell you, tell them to do that. But in some case, you know, you know, if you bring certain you know, top level energy, you know, maybe the family will make you an exceptional. But uh, it's, it's it's what it is. You know, like I said, family, these are big countries with large population, very incredible culture. You know. So yes, family, Ethiopia, a beautiful Ethiopian princess, as well. <laughs> and brothers, you gotta be careful. Don't come, you come to Africa, lose your mind. Stay focused on your goal. Is and the, one of the things you don't want to be doing is you know don't be doing that whole hopping stuff. You know what I mean? You settle with a nice woman and you build a future. You know? Don't get this video confused. Like we telling you to go around and sample all different women all around the world. We are just basically sharing a lot of information with you, and right to the point, especially when. You know, like I mentioned, the, the people, the, the countries that weren't on the list, it's just as great. You know, so you know, I mentioned Black America, I mentioned a few countries in the Caribbean. So you know, so you know, don't just focus on my top four list. We you know we have to work these numbers. My, my sister earlier gave her gave your numbers backwards and to try to flip it. <laughs> uh, and the good thing about Ethiopia, you know, it's the country I named the, the number one country as far as just traveling. So as far as the airlines and as far as accommodations on flight, you know, you have a, a beautiful, fine flight attendant with you. And that the Ethiopian standard of flight attendant should be it. You know, like on Delta Airlines, I'd be pissed off at Delta and kill them. They rag their ass, ugly white, white cunts flight attendants. And I'm like, yo, man, can you? I'm like, I've spent all this money, and then you got this so raggedy thing in front of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking, you know, that, and that's what the thing that made Ethiopia great. I was like, man, and you know, it's before I land. I was like, man, this is, it's like. Are all the women like that in Ethiopia? <laughs> but, yeah, and little man, you cool, you good? Don't distract my video, we're talking about the finest women. Don't, make sure you uh, go somewhere and chill. <laughs> yes, family, uh, now it's, uh, it's a country where you go around. I mean, I've been to like seven, eight parts of Ethiopia. And the thing of it is, wherever you go, and you're seeing just the, the mannerism, the energy, the, you know, of, 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 of the sisters, the smiles, the beauty, it's just, uh, captivating so yes family and we are gonna hit you with the number one and it's the country I've never been to also and uh, you know what I mean uh, I've said a few things about this country and uh, yeah, maybe I got a few people out there you know what I'm saying we, we, we're gonna get we gonna get you when you come so <laughs> I got you I'm, I'm gonna do drone over the sky you know you're gonna see me in more of the spiritual energy but family the finest women that I've ever met in my life around the entire world just being over the last 20 years are our sister from Nigeria. Yay! Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. I know some of you are mad at me, but it's all good though. You can just formulate your own list based on your research and data. Nigerian women have the culture, the style, the energy, the aggressiveness. You know, they just do what they do. You now you meet one today, she you know she have this style look, and tomorrow she switch it up on you. <laughs> you know and just you know just beauty, love, energy and just fully accommodating. You know, and just like you know like you no know, now, if you're a Nigerian princess, wine, baby, wine. <laughs> you know, and the, the style is just incredible. Just the flow, the energy, and uh, you know, and sometimes people have you know, Nigeria completely wrong. But you know, what you have to look at family is you know, a, a big population of beautiful black people. You know, and uh, hopefully some of us haven't run into the wrong Nigerian energy. You know, but uh, obviously um, we haven't run into bad energy, especially with you know, our sisters. They're just you know, wonderful and calm and cool and a little bit of everything. I think that's the thing that does make them very special. You know, you meet some that maybe one way, that way, but the bulk of the energy is like, you know, you meet someone with just a whole lot of, you know, beautiful things about them. 
and uh, you know so family once again you know you know and you know you can see my you know top three list is in West Africa you know, that's where it's at family and we as a people were they from you know Jamaica Dominican Republic and so on a lot of the energy of the people here we are we are all connected you know so when when you see the beauty inside yourself you see the beauty of the people that we're talking about. So yes, family, number four, Brazil, number three, Ghana, number two, Ethiopia, number one, Nigeria. And it is incredible. And so, and then you like, how do you know all that stuff? You've never been to Nigeria. I don't have to. It's so many incredible women get imported from Nigeria, into, imported from, uh, get exported from uh, Nigeria and imported into Ghana. I think those are the terminology, import, export. Meaning that, uh, you know, they're looking for better opportunities in Ghana and they're looking to connect. So, you know, so it's what it is. I always talk. I always mess around with my folks on, on Lagos Avenue. So the Nigerians are taking over Lagos Avenue in, and East are gone. <laughs> uh, so family, that list is it, man. Uh, I don't know what it even really to hit you with, but the thing of it is, it's uh, I'm trying to wonder all these these feedback. So yes, family, I'm gonna go back to the list again. This is Bomani top finest woman in the entire world across six continent of meeting, greeting, connecting, networking, do all kind of wonderful things. Brazil, Ghana, Ethiopia, Nigerian. Yes, family. And no disrespect to our sisters in black America. You know, you if I had a, a top five, six, seven, or eight, you know, it'd be on that list. You know, but I'm a more of an international being. Some people give the list and they never left America. You know, so it's real. And you smile and everything. Yes, family, so keep it strong. Keep it strong. My my, my